Hi, this is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, and I have a really cool pop-up card for you. I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up insert using the, the tree lot dies. Now, this was sold out from Celebrations, but I know that because it's sold out, there's a lot of you out there that have this card, and you're going to love putting it together. So let's go ahead and get started. The inks you'll need are Old Olive and Evening Never Grief for your trees. For blending, I'm using Orchid Oasis and some Night of Navy and a blending brush. You'll also need the stamp set. And I forgot to throw in here Soft Suede and Real Red for your sentiment. The Soft Suede is going to be for your tree stands and for the little dog. You will definitely need the Tree Lot dies because they, they are the... the centerpiece of this card because of the great detail. I'm using a number of pieces of cardstock because this is what's going to build our layers. I have tear tape and glue dots as well as Tombow glue. Um, here's some red foil I have that um, in my craft room I'm using as the bows for my wreaths. I'm backing some silver foil with some adhesive sheet for my camper. And I'm also going to use a tiny little piece for my hubcap. Uh, I have some early espresso there, but I think I, for some of these cards, I just use the basic black, not only for the camper hitch, but also for the tires. And I'm going to show you how um, we're going to have to die cut those separately. And using that adhesive sheet really helps with, um, with the assembly. The white cardstock backed with the adhesive sheet is going to help to add that layer on our trees after we stamp them. There's also some white flocking that's in the mini catalog that would probably look just gorgeous on there. I didn't have any at, at, um, on hand. This is Mossy Meadow for cutting wreaths that are going to go on our camper. And again, that's backed with the... Um, with the adhesive sheet. Just some basic white cardstock for stamping. You can see I've already uh, I've made several of these. I'm using the ac the puff paint snow snowfall accent puff paint for the front of my card just to add some dimension. The base is going to be in real red and then our inside pop-up insert is going to be in basic white and I have two pieces of cardstock for the front. One we're going to color and then one we're going to mat. All my dimensions and information are on my PDF. So that is available on my link on my blog. So the um, inside cardstock is going to be five and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to fold it four and a quarter. That makes a pop up insert. I'm cutting two pieces for the front five and uh, a half by three and three fourths for coloring, and then five and a fourth by four for matting. And you just need some basic white cardstock for stamping. The real red is going to be our base card. I added some tear tape to the inside of my stamping trimmer, and look how nice it made my uh, all the little numbers kind of pop up. And you're really going to need that for the, for this project. So let's go ahead and begin with the blending. I'm using the Orchid Oasis. This is one of the new in colors that's available in the um, new annual catalog. Just taking the blending brush and starting out at the edges of my media mat, which is available on my favorite projects link, and kind of moving towards the center. I kind of want to leave the bottom of this, uh, this piece because this is our front. Uh, white because that's going to denote the snow. We're going to put our we're going to stamp our trees around it. This is our inside, our pop-up insert. The entire half of the um, of the top half of this needs to be um, colored and blended. You can also use the Knight of Navy, which I did on several other cards, just to kind of add a little bit more darker ombre on the outside. But it really doesn't matter. It all comes out really nicely. So that's kind of the the rest of our insert just wipe off your media mat and you're ready to roll on to the next step there's my blending brush i had already washed it you can see how nicely those those things just wash really nicely and there can be reusable reused again and again now on my um the next step is the cutting and you will get this uh a full-size pdf as part of my project pdf you will need your stamping trimmer and you want to turn your stamping trimmer, trimmer long ways because you're going to kind of uh, work your uh, cardstock down to your measurements. 
and just taking the cutting blade we're going to start our first cut is going to be um, the edge of the card is going to be at, at 3 fourths inch and then we're going to cut from 3 and 3 fourths from the top to 5 and a quarter you can see there's 3 and 3 fourths and I'm going to go ahead and cut all the way down to 5 and a quarter right there then I'm going to just pick up that blade, don't move the blade, and then move your cardstock down to one and a, one and a quarter, and then just move that um, blade back up to three and a quarter. We're then going to move it to one and three fourths, and for this one, we're going to cut from five and a half to three inches, or three inches to five and a half, basically if you're going from uh, left to right moving it down to three and three fourths again we're going to cut three inches to five and a half and that's going to going to make our middle pop-up piece the large piece for our camper and then we're going to move it down to four and a quarter and we're going to cut three and a fourth to five and a fourth and then move it down to four and three fourths and we're going to cut three and a fourth to five and a fourth and that's going to create our our cuts for our pop-up. Now we have to score those for folding. So take your scoreboard and you're going to score the first one. There it is. I'm kind of showing you your template. You're going to score it three inches for the large pop-up in the center, which is where our camper is going to go. And the two sides are going to be three and one fourth and five and a quarter respectively. And there you go. Now before you fold anything, we're going to do the stamping. And what I like to do here is I like to mask the um, that inside uh, pop-up piece where my camper is going to go because I just want the trees to kind of show on the outside where I'm going to um, add some other trees. Now I'm using the, um, this is a two-step photopolymer stamp set. So I'm using my, um, my stamping piercing mat and then the, uh, just the, the large um, or medium sized tree and I'm also making sure I don't get any of the tree on my snow background just kind of neatly masking that I'm using both the Orchid Oasis and I'm using a little bit of Night Navy with the stamp 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 uh, off technique here to kind of create a little bit of dimension and there's the, um, the Night of Navy kind of used in the background to kind of give you a little bit more uh, dimension. Okay, so that creates our background. And you really can't go wrong with using the stamp stamp off technique and those two colors, Orchid Oasis and Night of Navy. Now we just kind of carefully uh, pull off. Don't worry um, if you did, you can see I got a little bit of ink there. Don't worry about it. Now we're going to fold our, our pieces and then we're going to do our mountain and valleys. The mountains are going to be our centerpiece and the pieces for our trees. And using your um, your uh, bone folder, just make sure those are nice and crisp. And there's the inside. Now this is cut at the full uh, five and a fourth by four, but because I'm putting it inside the red base card, it it there's really no. Um, uh, the, the the red doesn't show so I'm just going to very carefully cut this down it's about an eighth of an inch all the way around and what it's going to do is when you put that on the real red see how pretty you have a nice red border and that's really what we what we want to do and I choose to do this after I've done the blending just because I can make sure I got the blending well now we're going to put together or rather we're going to die cut all the pieces of parts this takes a while but using your, your mini um, stamping cut and emboss machine is perfect because you can just put it directly on your desk and kind of uh, chill out, play some music, and stamp away. Now, I cut the red, the trailer with the real red, but now I'm cutting little pieces and parts. This, is, this um, uh, basic black piece is going to make my tire and my hitch. I'm using my silver foil to cut my my uh, camper uh, accents. It's both the top and the bottom of the camper. And I have an itty bitty little silver piece here that I'm going to pull out 
because I'm going to take that itty bitty silver piece and I'm using my camper die because of what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my hubcap. Again, all of these are backed with um, your adhesive sheets and my PDF outlines all the cardstock that you need to make sure has that. Um, uh, the adhesive sheet is, is used so that you can uh, put these together uh, rather quickly. Here is my wreath. I have to cut two of these because I put them on both windows, but you don't have to. There's another tiny little piece in there that's actually like a like a curtain or a, a, a swag that you can use for the um, for your uh, trailer. Uh, but I didn't I didn't do that. I I uh, I kind of like using all the little wreaths. I'm using um, a red foil for my bows. I'm cutting two of those. Again, that is back with my adhesive sheet and putting everything aside. And you can see how, how the little pile begins to, to grow, but it's a lot of fun to just kind of zone out. Now, I've already stamped using even, Evening uh, Evergreen, and I'm just kind of fitting my dies. I'm using primarily the um, small and, and middle-sized trees. I'm only using the larger tree for the large Christmas tree that's going to go on the inside of my card that we're going to embellish with some red uh, rhinestones. And I have just I just cut a bunch of these um, because um, I just wanted to uh, use the dark and the light to kind of create some contrast uh, for my um, for my uh, pop-up. And here I'm just kind of uh, showing you how I um, how I stamp my trees using my um, I believe that's evening evergreen, both my small and the large. And I'm just trying to make sure that I have I have enough pieces and parts. I made several cards, um, so this is kind of fun to basically make a lot of pieces, and then you can sit down. And this is very easy to assemble. It's really not that hard. Now, um, for the soft suede, I am stamping the little sign. You kind of have to be a little, a little careful with this. I had to stamp several, um, several times to make sure that the that the words on the sign show up. Uh, you don't want to press down too hard on that stamp pad because it can the ink can kind of get into your into the lettering. There's the little dog. And these are my tree stands and that are going to um, be adhered to my inside Christmas tree for my pop-up. Again, I'm just trying to, to get more of the, um, make sure my signs uh, show up. And I'm going to pick the best to do my die cuts. The sign, I'm going to need two of those. You need one for the inside and one on the outside. Only if you choose to put some pop-ups on the inside. You don't have to. And I'll show you an example of a card that um, that doesn't have it. And it, it's beautiful. It's just a matter, matter of, uh, of taste. And here I'm just going to go ahead and cut out all my little um, pieces of parts for my card. And there they are. Here's my white flock, my white paper that I'm going to cut my flocking and for my trees. And then we're just going to um, pull those off and assemble them on our stamp trees. So I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and kind of let you zone out on the rest of my assembly.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of Christmas. As always, please remember to like and share. That is how you can support me here on my channel if you enjoy the products that I the products and videos that I provide. So to stamp the front of our card, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to use your Memento Black Ink and stamp the light string. That's going to determine where your posts are going to go. Uh, and then I'm using the Old Olive to stamp, stamp off the trees that are going to go along my tree lot on the front. Now, um, this is a two-step stamp because the photopolymer, you can see I'm using my um, stamping piercing mat, has another stamp to kind of uh, give, it, give the trees a little bit of dimension. I'm using the smaller trees for the two outside and then I'm using the, the middle sized trees for the uh, for the inside of our of our tree lot here. Then I'm taking my evening evergreen and I'm using the uh, layered stamp to stamp the um, to stamp the trees. Again, I'm using that stamp stamp off technique for some of those trees that I have um, stamped in the background just to kind of give make sure that they have a little bit of of dimension as well. Now to um, stamp my uh, light post that I'm using uh, soft suede ink with, I want to grab um, my post-it notes. I'm just going to kind of mask my trees to make sure that I don't um, I don't kind of over stamp or stamp over it too much because I kind of want to create that nice um, that nice uh, nice effect for the front of my card. I'm just going to line those up to the edge of my uh, <clears throat> my light string and you can see that I did kind of miss it a little bit my masking went a little bit over but you know no worries just grab your um, Stampin' Mark marker in Early Espresso or in Soft Suede and just kind of fill that in um, then we're going to uh, grab our um, accent Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. Um, you have to be very gentle with this. Shake it really well. You can see I, I kind of, um, it, it kind of came out too fast. So you have to squeeze very gently and use a painting motion so it doesn't glob up into a puddle. You want to just kind of, kind of stroke that across your, your, um, your cardstock. So you kind of have a, have a line a paint line and then go ahead and use your heat gun machine to kind of um, uh, puff that up. Uh, don't use too much because it will kind of smoke on you if you uh, if you over if you overheat it. So let me get my there we go get my card back into focus here. I'm going to add my sign that I die cut and uh, stamped out of a soft suede and then die cut with my dies and I'm just going to pop that up on some dimensionals. Now one of the neat things that I like about this um, this particular scene for the front of my card is that you can use either white rhinestones or iridescent rhinestones to kind of um, set off the little uh, light string that makes up our tree lot. Now you could also use some colored rhinestones if you have them, whatever you have in your in your craft room, but I really like the iridescent, really really um, gave it a really nice effect. I'm just adding a little bit more puff paint around the base of my sign so it kind of stands out a little bit and then just uh, applying my heat gun to kind of make that kind of pop up a little bit. And there you go, you can see how nice how nice that effect uh, looks. Now we're going to stamp the inside of our card. I'm going to grab the sentiments from the stamp set. I'm basically just going to put them down and pick them up with a um, with an acrylic block and then I'm going to use real red uh, ink to, um, to stamp on the inside. Now you want to stamp your sentiment first because this is going to kind of bound where you're going to put the rest of your um, pop-ups such as the, the sign and the dog if you choose to do that. You don't have to. I made a card that didn't have the inside pop-ups with the dog and the, and the sign and it, it, was, it was fine. 
Now this is the larger of the tree that I attached the little tree stand to earlier. Now I'm just simply going to add some uh, some red rhinestones just to kind of give it a little bit of bling for the inside. It's kind of like one of the centerpieces alongside our camper. Uh, again, any kind of uh, uh, products that you have, but these are available on your on the mini. I mean, in the annual catalog, I did have some old stars, and I added those as well. But there are some stars that are available on the mini catalog, so there's lots of products out there for you to use to embellish. Now we just simply add some of our um, our glue. I like to use that precision bottle, and I, I just kind of squeeze my Tombow in there. I find it makes it just really easy to make sure I get just the right amount of glue out. That's available on my online store under my, my favorite products. For the um, side, I'm kind of um, trying to group um, a group of, um, of trees. I'm going to kind of slit that so it kind of fits um, inside the uh, our uh, pop-up mechanism there. And always fold your um, your uh, your pop-up insert to make sure that everything um, is adhered so that it folds. Your um, your card will fold flat. I'm doing the same with this little tree, and I kind of added a little bit more glue and that will adhere nicely. Now once you do the backup, your backup, your background trees, and you can go ahead and you can add a tree. Oops, there's my big head. You can add a tree to the front. Now lastly, I save, uh, I save the best for last. This is where we just go ahead and put our camper um, to make sure that it's centered between our, our, uh, our tree backgrounds that we have there. And there you go. Again, folding, making sure everything folds flat. Now we're going to uh, switch over and I'm going to show you how you build your pop-up mechanisms for the um, little dog and for the, the sign. I'm using a piece of window sheet. Um, before, But before I add those, I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to see a card that's kind of catawampus. I didn't quite get the um, pop-up insert centered nicely. On, on my real red. So this is the technique that I recommend to make sure that you get that um, pop-up insert nicely centered. There you go. I kind of uh, use the Tombow glue. I've got a little bit of wiggle room and see how nicely it, it is centered. And then after I do the bottom I adhere the top once I, um, I'm sure everything is nice and folds flat got a little bit too much glue so I'm just kind of using my finger to spread it a little bit. Now for the, you see that's the one that, uh, that's the version of the card that didn't quite make it. It's a little bit cattywampus and that's because I used tear tape. Now these are the mechanisms. It's simply a piece of window sheet that I cut and uh, you know it's about maybe an inch and then I bas basically just folded it in half and used my bone folder to crease it and um, it, they will just disappear. I use glue dots because I found that's the best adhesive for putting the little dog and the sign onto this um, this acetate, this window sheet, and then I just I trim the edge to make sure that it's not showing up behind our little figure. You can see where I've already stamped the little paw prints that come with this stamp set. Um, then I use tear tape and I'm using uh, two layers and I'm going to adhere it there and it just it totally disappears. You don't even see it. It's really really a nice effect. Doing the same with the sign um, because it's a window sheet you can be kind of generous with the size. Um, again using my uh, mini glue dots and then I'm going to use tear tape uh, two strips of tear tape. First I'm going to take off the um, the adhesive sheet and then I'm going to add another piece and then take off that that adhesive backing to make sure that I have a nice nice adhesion there. And there you go. I'm going to trim the bottom again always folding flat to make every make sure everything on your pop-up will uh, will fold nicely. So now that we have the inside of our card done, let's go ahead and adhere our front using our mat on our uh, real red cardstock. You can see that this was um, this was not a difficult card to put together. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Um, please like and share and support my my uh, channel if you appreciate the the uh, videos that I provide. All products are available on my online store. Go to my blog for product details and visit my favorite products link to purchase such tools as this great media map. I'd be happy to be your demonstrator or join as a hobbyist for a 20% discount and personal attention from me. Take care and happy stamping.